Deus in adutorium meum intende. Domine ad adubandum me festina. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Eterna celi gloria, beata spes mortalium, celsi parentis unice, casteque proles virginis. Da dexteram surgentibus, exurgat et mensopria, flagrans et in laudem dei, Gratis rependat debitas, ortus refulget lucifer, ipsamque lucem nunciat, cadit caligo noctium, lux sancta nos illuminet. Manensque nostri sensibus, Noctem repellat seculi, omnique fine temporis, purgata servet pectora. Que sita iam primum fides, radicet altis sensibus, secunda spes con gaudea, Tunc maior extat caritas. Sit Christe rex pisime, tibi patrique gloria, cum spiritu paraclito, in sempiterna secula. Amen. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned, what is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence And be without reproach when you judge O oh, see, in guilt I was born A sinner was I conceived Indeed you love truth in the heart then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, 
and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, Burnt offering from me you would refuse. By sacrifice a contrite spirit, A humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, Holocaust offered on your altar. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace, who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the Creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place on the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice, I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols, and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God, there is no just and saving God but me? Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. 
Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He who made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. A reading from St. Paul's Epistle to the Ephesians. Never let evil talk pass your lips. Say only the good things men need to hear, things that will really help them. Do nothing that will sadden the Holy Spirit, with whom you were sealed against the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, all passion and anger, harsh words, slander, and malice of every kind. In place of these, be kind to one another, compassionate and mutually forgiving, just as God has forgiven you in Christ. At daybreak, be merciful to me. At daybreak, be merciful to me. Make me know the path that I must walk. Be merciful to me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. At daybreak, be merciful to me. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Through his cross, 
the Lord Jesus brought salvation to the human race. We adore him and in faith we call out to him. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Christ, rising sun, warm us with your rays and restrain us from every evil impulse. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Keep guard over our thoughts, words, and actions, and make us pleasing in your sight this day. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Turn your gaze from our sinfulness and cleanse us from our iniquity. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Through your cross and resurrection, fill us with the consolation of the Spirit. Lord, pour pour out your mercy mercy upon us. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you conquer the darkness of ignorance by the light of your word. Strengthen within our hearts the faith you have given us. Let not temptation ever quench the fire that your love has kindled within us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.